You know, the convention last night uh, was unusual. It was an uh, unconventional convention. It was done over Zoom. Uh, a lot of pre-recorded interviews, a lot of pre-recorded uh, statements, and there was even a musical montage with a uh, interesting set of graphics behind as as two different generations of musical performers uh, played what was a revolutionary song of the 60s. So, you know, very curious how the thinking um, and the creativity behind the convention came together. But I do think that there's one thing that was important, uh, that was illustrated and was intentional by the Democratic establishment, by the staff of the DNC, and that was they made a choice. They made a choice to lean in and try to win over probably what seems to be upper middle class uh, white Republicans. They invited upper middle class wealthy white Republicans to the stage, whether it was John Kasich or uh, Christine Todd Whitman uh, or former Congresswoman Mal- Malinari. These were what you would call like the anti-Trump Republicans. And I think the big question is why do that when we could be leaning in to working people, uh, to the issues that they're facing right now with multiple crises facing us, whether it's a healthcare crisis, a student loan crisis, a housing crisis. Uh, Of course, Black Lives Matter activists have been organizing on the streets for about a decade now. Uh, these these are the issues that I think a lot of people on the progressive side, especially those under 40, think are, 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 are what the Democratic Party needs to lean in in talking about and uh, identifying and discussing and coming up with solutions and highlighting in their platform. Uh, climate, of course, is also a huge issue. But no, no, no. We had several Republicans on stage. So I think the question is why. And I, I just don't buy it. I don't think this is a winning strategy. Uh, just some some basic numbers that I think, you know, we're 77 days away from the election. So keep this in mind. We're 77 days away from the election. And in many states, there's early voting that is starting pretty much in a month, a little over a month. Now, the decision to, to, to move towards upper middle class uh, Republicans is is a numbers game in which I, I think the numbers are just too tight. Um, you know, I, I think that they're depending and and feeling like they're going to have the working class base when if you look at the Hillary Clinton election 2016, you know, she, without opening an office up in, in Wisconsin, with leaning into the same voters, it didn't work. In 2012, Obama carried 40% of the electorate making under $50,000 a year by a landslide. Those are landslide margins against Romney. Families between 30 and 50 carried Obama to a victory. Obama lost everyone over making over $100,000 a year. 38% of the electorate. And what the Democrats now are trying to do is lean into winning those people over. And Clinton won under 50,000, uh, those who made under $50,000 a year, but by much smaller margins, not the numbers that they needed. So is it that the Democrats are taking working people for granted and they want to, to lean into recruiting these, these defected Trump voters uh, to the win? Or is it that they, they really don't care about working people? My guess is Democrats think that working people those who identify with progressive values, they think that these folks are going to turn out no matter what because of the conditions that Trump has created, uh, that he has exacerbated, and that they need the icing on the cake is the Republicans. And that was their form of unity last night. Having Bernie Sanders on stage who talks about how he you know, works with Republicans in the Senate, and then having John Kasich on stage. stage. Having Michael Bloomberg on later on in the week. Uh, these are interesting tactics and strategies and i think it's a huge bet i think all of us probably watching right now think that if the democrats became the workers party and had folks like ken dimenstein from uh, the postal workers union on talking or sarah nelson who arguably ended the government shutdown as the flight attendants workers president you know these are the folks that we want to see the democrats put forward Thanks for watching and listening to The Nomi Key Show. But remember to click like and subscribe on YouTube and please share on social media. If you're not already a patron, please join us for as low as $5 a month on patreon.com slash The Nomi Key Show for early and special content. 
That investment makes a huge difference. We are not corporate media raking in the dough. It's really you guys that are keeping us going. So please consider being a patron. And to our current patrons, thank you so much. We are incredibly grateful to you. We also now have swag. So check us out on the nomihisha.com to get your mugs, your totes, and your stickers.